super nanny has turned around a home that was once a battleground for single mum Tara and her three children. You're taking back control today. Mm -hmm. That weight kicks. But it wasn't just the kids that were problematic. Oh, bloody hell, Shannon! Do not go! Super Nanny had to take on volatile Tara too. Keep nice and calm. Straight back. Don't talk to him. You did it. Mm -hmm. So you should be extremely proud of yourself. With her work done, Super Nanny's off to her next family. And a newly confident Tara is about to do something she would never have considered before. She's taking the kids on holiday. It's going to be a really tough challenge, though, for Tara. I've got to learn to control my temper, so that's going to be really hard. Has Tara taken on too much? It's definitely not going to be an easy ride. <laughs> Super Nanny has gone, and armed with her new parenting skills, single mum Tara Howard is flying solo. Kiss. And it's going really well so far. So mum. Mum. Do you think you could do that for me? Oh, that's an M. That's well done. And then another ma. Yeah, you've done really well. More confident, controlled and prepared. Look at ducks! Oh, yeah, there's lots of ducks. Tara is ready to do something that she would never have thought possible just a few weeks ago. She and the kids will be travelling a 1,000 miles by minibus to the south of France. A daunting task. So before they leave, Super Nanny is going to give Tara a final pep talk. Going on holiday. Yep, that's right. Myself, my partner, John, and the three children. First time? Yep. First it, time? Yep, first time. Well, this is good. Any anxieties? I just want to keep it, you know, as it is here sort of thing, you know? OK, yes, very much. So I've got, you know, some concerns about that, you know, like their bedtime and stuff. And to control myself sometimes when I'm getting worked up and angry. What I don't want to see you do is to set yourself up with feeling all stressed and angst mm. about going away before you've even left this front door. No, no, that's right. So what I have got for you mm. is the Super Nanny mm. handbook. So going on holiday, it's inevitable. There is going to be slight change in the daily routine, mm. but obviously being able to maintain the cornerstones of that routine mm. is going to help you immensely. Yeah. Naughty corner on the road. I've always said, as long as you have the steps of the discipline up here in your head, mm. you can take that technique anywhere. Right. Anywhere. Definitely. OK. Right, keep cool. Mm -hmm. Don't let the small mishaps mm. of a day ruin the rest of it, OK? Mm. Because your temperament will set the surroundings the children mm -hmm. are in. So, bon voyage. Mm -hmm. And I think you're sorted. Now, except for an emergency phone call, Tara is on her own. It's 6am and this is it. Ready or not, Tara is taking her kids away for a week. Go and sort your stuff out. We're looking forward to our holiday. Now she's got the techniques in place. She's a lot calmer, she's more confident and she's got more direction. And I think all of this is going to really help her have a fun holiday with her children. The worst thing I wasn't looking for was eating snails. It feels too soon since Joe's put the techniques in for them to go on holiday, but um, it's something that I've got to try and something I've got to overcome in order for them to have a normal life like other people. Packed a card game in case I get bored. The one thing that I think is controlling myself, my, you know, the way I feel sometimes. If they're doing something horrible to me, I've got to learn to control my temper, so that's going to be really hard. I would feel fantastic if I could pull it off, definitely. You want to put yours in your bag? One minute. Tara's going to have to compose herself more and not lose it, have more self-discipline, and that will go a long way on holiday with making sure that, that, that she can enjoy herself with the children. Oh, yeah. Go on, then, Rachel. You know how to do it. Well done. Tara's sister has reservations. The day trip's hard enough. I couldn't imagine a week with them. Tara! After all, this household was once a war zone. Do not have it. I don't like it, Rachel. Shut up, Dad. You're rude! Going anywhere together was a nightmare. Yeah. Oh. Race was just running amok and doing what he wanted. He used to climb out the toilet window. And he weed in my fish pond. Mm. In front of everyone. 
Reese, he must have only been about two or three then. He got out a plastic golf club and proceeded to beat me proper around the head with it. And seven-year-old Shannon was no angel either. Bloody hell, Shannon! She would win, she would scream, she would cry, she would kick. Shannon and Reese's tantrums were all consuming. An eldest daughter, Casey, never got a look in. You know, I haven't had much time spending time with her because Reese always comes down. Don't let me spend time with my mum. She's had the pep talk, she's got the handbook, but for a successful holiday, Tara needs to keep her own demons at bay. Tara used to shout at them, they used to shout back. I don't want to see you, OK? I think a lot of it's to the breakup, were not it? Yeah. You know, with her marriage. He left her. Well, I suppose you wouldn't be happy, would you, really? I suppose that they can be a bit funny about not having their dad about, and, you know, all I ever get is their dad's better. And I'm like, no, he ain't, because you don't, you don't have your time. He doesn't see what I see. I can totally empathise with Tara. She's trying to raise the kids and do the best that she can as a single mum. You know, she's got to do everything on her own, which isn't fair, really. So then she gets the amp because she, you know, wants time to herself and she can't have it. With a final check of her handbook, Tara and the kids steal themselves for the 17-hour journey. Sit down. It's a mini bus. Yes, I know it's a mini bus. Nan Sheila and Grandad Bill will be there to keep an eye on things. They start fighting all that, stop the mini bus, kick them out and let them run. It's a test for Tara's boyfriend, John, too. This is the first time we've been away together abroad, yeah, so we're quite excited. And I think it would be good as well to see, you know, the change in the kids. John's brother will join them at the ferry in another car. The car journey's a long journey with all of them together. And there are going to be things that are going to put Tara to the test. But, you know, being a parent is about having to deal with that and thinking on your feet, so let's just see how she gets on. Typical M25, this is. You've got three kids stuck in a minibus. It's going to be chaos. That's when you're going to know whether it's really helped. The first part of the journey goes by without any major hiccups. I just saw a feet go up. They have done really well. So far, so good. But as soon as they hit the road in France, there's a problem. The other vehicle has blown a gasket, and they're still 15 hours from their destination. This is the chance to see if they're good. Come here, race it down. You can't get that. Are you listening? You can't play it here because it's not a safe place. <laughs> Tara confines the kids to the minibus. Got fat Hopefully it shouldn't be too long before we go now. And they're gonna get impatient because this is all going on. Down. Well then you can stay there, Reese, okay? Right, down you get, please. After a two-hour delay, they finally get moving again. And Tara's tired but still in control. Shannon, sit back, please, for Daniel. Sit back. Back. Grandad's the one who loses his cool. Anymore, right? I'm not laughing anymore, and I'll kick you out. Finally, after a thousand miles of driving, they arrive at their destination, a campsite in Saint Tropez. But there's a problem. What is this? Just our one? Just no. Our... Nan and Grandad. Yeah. I've got two bedrooms. So things haven't got off to a great start. Well, I'm sleeping on my own. For four adults and three children, the accommodation's going to be a real squeeze. Kids can sleep in here. The girls can yeah. top and tail in one. Reese in another one. No, I'm sleeping on my own. You can put where you're told. Or you can sleep underneath the caravan. I didn't realise it was going to be this small. It's too enclosed. And Come here. I, I don't think... Um, the bedtime routine will work in here. The next test for Tara is doing a food shop. Before Super Nanny's help, shopping trips were a humiliating experience. Bad 
fucking dumb. <laughs> and downright hazardous. Flipping sake. Grab him, Shan. I ain't got the energy for this. On Super Nanny's advice, Tara tries to involve the children. Hey. Gonna go to the supermarket? Yeah. Yeah? You go get, and you'll you get a list it? each, okay? And then you can help it? Mummy find it, yeah? Right, do you want to grab a bar? But this is not Tara's usual supermarket. It's an unfamiliar store in a foreign country. What crisps are we getting, Rhys? Can you see? I'll put them in your basket. Well done. Good boy. Right, what do you need, Casey? Black bags. Black bags? Hang on, I'm going to... Rhys soon finds distractions. Rhys, put that back. Rhys, put that back. Right, can we put that back? And then we'll get one shortly. Here we go. Down here, this side. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to. We're going to. I don't know this shop. Reese, you can open the bag. Do you want to hold the bag for Casey? No. Reese, do you want to go to the beach? You come and stand with Mummy then. But Tara takes back control. Take you down there. We're going to run off. For now. Right, can we go and pick that up? You can. I'm waiting. Well, you'll have to go and get it, Reese. I'm not going to move until you get it. Here we go. I'm waiting for you to pick it up and pass it to Mummy. Do it nicely, or we're not. You're not going to the beach. We'll just stay at home then. Thank you. Oh my arm. Me your arm. Me your arm. Tara seems to have forgotten Super Nanny's advice. Naughty corner on the road. You can take that technique anywhere. Rather than use the naughty corner, she's withdrawing privileges. Okay, you're not going to the beach. You're staying in. No, we're staying in. Oh, well, you should have thought about that, Reese. You shouldn't have kept hitting me. Oh, no. Right, he's going to bed. End of. But it's not working. Up you get. Up you get. So at three in the afternoon, Tara's forcing Reese to bed. Up you go. Come on. You're tired. You need to go to sleep. Let's go. Yes, you are, Reese. Come on. Come on. Right, stop that shouting. Quiet, quiet. Quiet now. Shannon, could you go away? Why are you asking me if he's coming out of the room when I'm putting him in the room? Tara needs some time out. So Grandma takes over. Right, now go and say sorry to Mum. Please. Go on, yes, you can. You're a big boy. <laughs> it's very hard because I've got set in my ways of doing it at home. It's very different here. So I don't know. I don't know how to deal with it when it goes like that. It's fed up with their noise, their constant whining. But there is a lifeline. You know, the important thing is that you don't end up Mm. Going back to you know the Tara who starts losing it and then yeah, ends up arguing right. with it's them, you know. Sold. Yeah, yeah. It's true. That is true. You know, like walking back, like from somewhere. Or well, you're walking to somewhere, and they keep creating yeah. like that. And I do say to Mike, we're not going to do this today. Is that the right way of going about it, though? Or... Yeah, I mean, I think if you're in the park mm. and there's and there's like a bench, you mm. can literally use that as your naughty corner. Mm. Or when they get back home, mm. you can then place them into the naughty corner and they start to lose their rewards. But remember, don't cut off your nose to spite your face. No. If the whole family are going somewhere for the day and you end up saying to them, oh, well, that's it, you're not going to go now, it means mm. the whole family have to suffer that consequence. Yeah. Listen, Brilliant. it's really lovely to speak yeah. to you. And you, Joe. Yeah, take care. Yeah, bye. With food for thought, Tara and the whole family go out for a meal, giving Tara a chance to collect herself. Case, please. You want us to go on the jet ski tomorrow? They're good going to bed and everything, yeah. yeah. And good G'd up by her pep talk from Super Nanny. Good boy, Reese. Well done. Good listening. Tara decides on a walk to the shops, but Shannon has other ideas. <laughs> With the beach trip cancelled, she's in no mood for a walk. Oh, dear. Come on. Pick that up, Shannon. Shannon, could you pick that up? And I want to go. Pick it up. Pick it up. Come on, I'm waiting for you. I want to go. Because Shannon said, oh, can we still go? I've said no. So then she created. 
Before Super Nanny's help, Shannon's tantrum would have been like a red rag to a bull for Tara. Shannon, could you pick that up, please? <laughs> but this time, she ignores Shannon's tantrum. I'm not letting it get to me. I'm staying calm now. And uses Super Nanny's tips to keep all the kids engaged. Look for the Egypt statue, Casey. Race. Is that it? Done well. Can you count to see how many blue cars there are? What, That's five. What? Is that five? Yeah. How many's Reese counted? Six. I found six. Six. Well done, Reese. And it works. Right. Now this way. Look. Right, I think see. Tara's coating very well, but it is difficult for her. But a few hours later, it's way past the kids' bedtime. And they're still up. Reese, don't do that, please. <laughs> In the past, bedtime was Tara's most difficult part of the day. Can you lie down, please, Reese. I'm not having this. Get off the bed now! No! I just get phone calls. Dad, can you come up and sort the kids out and put them in bed? She does tend to give up very quickly when the going gets tough. Off you go. She just gives him to have a bit of pace. But Super Nanny showed Tara that she just needed to keep her cool. Keep your voice nice yeah. and calm. See the, way I'm, see the way I'm talking to you at the moment? <coughs> yeah. Just keep everything really calm. That's Please. the ball, Reese. Take my shoes off. Yeah, I'll take your shoes off. I'll put it safe. No. <laughs> I'm having it. Reese. Tomorrow. Come on, there's a good ball. <laughs> Tony, you can have the ball tomorrow. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Tara's gone off with the hump. She doesn't want to do it, sit and read to him or nothing. If I didn't do it, the kids wouldn't have gone to bed. So I just read to him. Be a good boy, please. Kiss, kiss. Tomorrow's another day. The next morning, Tara resolves to start again and focuses on quality time with her kids. Oh, well done, Rachel. I got that cooking. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pre-Super Nanny, the girls barely spent any time with their mum. Were you supposed to read as a school? Because Tara was too busy fighting fire with fire. Bro! Bro! But now she's learnt the value of one-on-one -on -one time. Ah, oh, that's nice. So a girly shopping trip is on the agenda. What colours do you like? You tell Mummy what colours what? you like. Yeah. Huh? The best thing is more time with my mum. I like when she smiles at me. It makes me happy and give her a lot. What about that one? Was it a little skirt and a wrap around top? You must remember. Messy. <laughs> Messy. <laughs> <laughs> And later, with the grandparents there to babysit, Tara even manages to find some time for herself with boyfriend John. Yeah, I do think it's um, important for John and Tara to have time, you know, to be on their own without the kids. That night, with Mum and the kids relaxed, bedtime goes by without a hitch. Good night. OK. Good night. Yeah, good night, your children. Good night. Have you got them? Just a few weeks ago, even a day trip seemed like an impossible dream. Um, before Super Nanny came, it would have been a nightmare to take them on holiday. But since she's been, you know, it's been really, really good. I've been really impressed with Tara and the kids. The way they, they've behaved and the way Tara's controlled them. They are nice kids to be with now. It's been, it's been difficult, but it's worked, you know? It's been brilliant. And it really has helped. I'm really enjoying the home day so far. I'll definitely come away again. Well, I'm going to. I look forward to it next year. A week later, Tara is back at home. Hello. Tara. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Joe. <laughs> How was the rest of your holiday? Yeah, it was lovely. Yeah, kids enjoy mm, it? Yeah, they did, yep. 
Good. Yeah, yeah, they really enjoyed it. When I last spoke to you, mm. and you were ploughing through some of the techniques, a little bit of difficulty. Yeah. And I was like, stick with it. Remember, we were talking about the routine. Yeah, that's right. And about you being on track with that. Yeah. So how's that now? Yeah, it's brilliant. I've come back and I've stuck to it, basically, you know. Good for you. It was a little bit hard out there, but mm. I struggled along and I've come back and, and I've soon got back into it. And now they're just totally different kids. It's, ma it's amazing. Look at you. You're like, yeah. yep, it's all fine, Joe. <laughs> yeah. Everything's great. <laughs> yeah, it is. You see, you're happy. Yeah. Definitely, 100% happy. Yeah. Take care, Tara. Thanks. And the future's looking bright. As a result of the holiday, I, I know that I can control my temper and the way I feel, and it, you know, and it does work. Tara's finding it a lot easier with the children. I think she wants to keep the kids, you know, from going back to the way they were. The reports Tara's getting back from the teachers at school uh, are a lot better. Their concentration's improved. Since Super Nanny's been here, my mum talks to us more and she plays and she's nice and she kisses. I'm delighted at the progress that Tara has made. She made a choice to change the way she was raising her children. And because of that, she's now seeing the results that are making her whole family a lot happier. I've learned a lot about my children. You know, underneath all that, there is a lot of love. My mum before was like this, and now she is.